there's any issue, I'll go. Okay. Yeah, we... Hello leaders and future leaders. This is retired Sergeant First Class Bites. In today's video, we are looking at a major gear shift in the US Army's infantry arsenal. The introduction of the M7 rifle and M250 automatic rifle under the Next Generation Squad Weapons Program or NGSW. These systems are set to replace the M4 Alpha 1 carbine and M249 squad automatic weapon, which have served for many years. We are going to break down what's changed, why it matters, and what it means for soldiers on the ground. So why change? For decades, the Army has relied on the 5.56 round in both the M4 and M249. But modern threats, improved body armor, longer range engagements, and evolving adversary capabilities force the question, is 5.56 still enough? The answer, a new cartridge, the 6.8 by 51 millimeter. In the civilian world, it's also called the 277 Fury, same cartridge, just the commercial name. By switching to the 6.8, the Army gains greater range, improved lethality, and better armor penetration. Both the M7 and M250 integrate advanced fire control optics, giving soldiers more accuracy and critical data right in the optic. The M7 Rifle Officially designated in 2023, previously XM7 or XM5, it replaces the M4 series in close combat units. Key Specs Chambered in 6.8, uses SR25 pattern 20 round mags instead of the 30 round 5.56 magazines. Fewer rounds, but bigger punch. Short stroke gas piston system for better reliability versus the direct impingement on legacy ARs. Free floating M-lock handguard, optics ready, suppressor capable. What this means for soldiers. Longer reach, improved terminal performance, better armor penetration. Trade-offs, heavier ammo, fewer rounds per magazine, and new training and logistics considerations. In short, the M7 levels up infantry rifle capability for future combat scenarios. The M250 automatic rifle, which replaces the M249 saw. Fielded under NGSW AR in 2024-2025 by Sig Sauer, it fires the same 6.8 cartridge as the M7, simplifying squad logistics. Key upgrades, belt fed, select fire, ambidextrous controls. Advanced fire control optics improve first round hit probability and extend effective range. Designed for suppression and precision, giving squads more lethality at longer distances. What this means for your squad. A heavier hitting, longer range automatic rifle. Greater ability to engage protected targets and provide sustained fire. New training and ammo loads will be required. Implementation and considerations. Fielding starts with close combat forces, infantry, scouts, and combat engineers before army-wide issue. The M4 Alpha 1 and M249 will remain in service in many formations for now. Key considerations. M7 uses 20 round mags versus 30 round legacy mags. 6.8 ammo is heavier, recoil and ballistics differ. New caliber, new mags, new optics, so supply chain adjustments will be needed. Some units have raised concerns about the M7, like weight and magazine size, but both the M7 and M250 are officially approved for fielding. They meet army standards and are ready for soldiers to use. What it means for soldiers. For soldiers, this is more than a new rifle or machine gun. You'll train with new weapons, optics, and longer ranges. Units will push first round hits farther out, integrate fire control data, and adjust ammo loads. Proficiency with the new systems will matter for boards, evaluations, and squad effectiveness. In short, this is a shift in the infantry fighting paradigm, not just a new carbine. Conclusion The M7 rifle and M250 automatic rifle mark the next step in squad level lethality. They replace legacy systems with greater range, power, and integrated fire control optics under the NGSW program. For the modern soldier, mastery of these systems will become very important. With all that being said, I would love to hear your thoughts on the M7 and M250. Please feel free to add any information I might have missed. Lastly, I invite you to join our community Discord. I'm in there daily, so don't hesitate to DM me with questions, engage in discussions about military topics, and or share information. This is Sergeant First Class Bites. I'm out. Many of you probably understand it even better than I do.
Perfect. And when you make those tough calls, you have to make that decision in a split second in the fog of war. All I ever wanted was to know that the folks who led me would have my back. And that's our charge to you. Go out and exact violence on the enemy should you be required to do so. And know that uh, we're going to back you up. That's how you keep the people that we protect safe, by being better and more lethal at your job than anybody else. So thanks for being here. And uh, appreciate everything you do. God bless. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.